so uh, 1980 something, Judith uh, Mar uh, Marie Gunder Casella and Bob Robert Casella uh, moved into Bellrose, Queens, uh, off of 239th Street into like a little, I think it was a yellowish or greenish house. Um, and I, Judy used to babysit me over there. Uh, and then one day I woke up and the guy, I think he, Judy used to call him Tom next door, was no longer Tom. Tom was like a white, like one of, it looked like he could have been Judy's brother, but, uh, or relative of some sort but he was gone and I asked Aunt Judy I said Aunt Judy I said who is that brown man next door and she looked and she goes she totally forgot that Tom was her neighbor I had woken up in the morning gone in for a nap at Judy's house and woke up from the nap and all of a sudden Judy's entire block from her house down had changed the shape of the house and the man in ownership of the house. And he said he had just moved in. And then we, I think Judy documented it with the police. And then that's how we uh, made contact with some other people um, for paranormal science of um, a neighborhood changing literally in a blink of an eye with what I used to call painted equipment. It was like you have one painting and then all of a sudden some equipment was used and now you have a painting that looks kind of like it, but not really. Which is an abuse of uh, planetary equipment by humans, which is my purpose for being here. So now uh, in, in my U.S. attorney status and statesman level for the country, for the countrymen, for kingdom of the sky and the equipment underneath it and above it, um, as POW, prisoner of war, I'm a star person being held captive by humans in their planetary routine. Um, there were some elite countrymen that were supposed to put something together and to come take me off of the Fidelis of street impoverished and poverty New York and bring me to wherever the other betrothed star person I was born for was. Eugene? Eugenic? I don't know, something like that. So, and that's in Europe, I believe, not in America. So now I'm confused. I still have countryman status on all seven countries, but the states are a problem with equipment abuse and law and prosecution and following law and order. So now what do I do? Some gentleman got on the phone uh, from a local, and he said, well, uh, quiet, being quiet about it is your best advantage. I'm like, yeah, but here's the thing. I'm advanced race, um, space and time crimes. Uh, my enemy is who I'm just having an argument with at this point. I know he's wrong. He knows he's wrong. I need to get him removed from office, and it's a delicate situation. And unfortunately, you are like 42 years behind a war that started thousands of years before. So now, is quietness still our best option? I'm just curious, all area, like, local guy. Because I'm now 42 back, and I'm seeing a whole lot more painted into the landscape that was not approved by this state u.s state's attorney in pow status at countrymen and kingdom level and there's nobody who sits higher than i do so now why is it that you had some sorcerer at some level put me to sleep so i wouldn't complain or i wouldn't voice concern just for instability in my management team at elite when i have a lot of elite teams 
and I am waiting for one elite team since birth to pick me up at impoverished level and get me to at least statesman, kingsman, or kingdom wherever my betrothed sits, which I know it's a kingdom, but through all the levels. Now, why was not one elite trained team able to accomplish that when I have specific responsibilities and I need to be educated? I mean, my situation was never going to change unless they came for me. And I'm still the timing piece and the still most important at painted equipment.